Hello everybody, welcome to today's lesson, and today is the unmistakable link between the pentatonic scale and the modes. And this understanding, what it can do, is help you um, get in and out of, uh, give you another idea during your solo, if you're soloing in any one of these modes, um, to breaking out into a pentatonic scale just to spice things up a bit. And I see one square I forgot here, so we're going to fill that in on the fly here. Okay, a little sloppy there, but that'll do. Okay, so basically, if you pause this video right where it is, and see that my screen moved a bit here. If you pause this video right where it is, and copy this down, You'll be able to learn this on your own, but I'll give you my explanation for it as we go here. So, uh, what are we looking at here? So, in this top row, I've drawn all five pentatonic shapes for reference, but what we're really dealing with today is the main square box here, as played from the sixth string to the uh, first string, the high E, the low E to the high E. Um, so, as you probably may already know, Many people refer to this as the minor pentatonic. Some of you will know, some of you don't know, that the major pentatonic is also the same shape. It's just a different root. How can that be? Well, in the um, color of the minor root here, I've also indicated the chord tones of the minor chord. You can see that familiar shape. And then the major root here is making the G-shape chord all with notes of that pentatonic. It's a major chord, as we know from that G shape, open G. That's why we call it the G, and this comes from the caged system. I'll play this for you. And also, I'll try to show you the fingering here. It's one, four, one, I didn't know how this would go, so just kind of an experiment here. Um, hopefully my voice is okay as I keep on getting closer and farther from my phone. So turning this into modes is not that hard. What I wanted to show you basically is that the modes are um, all pentatonic. Well, this is hard to say. They're not specifically a mode isn't limited to these pentatonic boxes but you can create the modes from the pentatonic box and then bring them all over the fretboard to bring them all over the fretboard the magic is the squares that you see here of notes it shows up here shows up here it shows up here and anywhere there's a pink dot it's part of a square even though these are broken up that's actually part of a square so anyways the square helps you link it all the way across the fretboard but that's another video on my website here on my youtube channel so what today we're showing you is how minor and major remember that and here's your pentatonic shapes what to learn and this will this will also what what else this can help you with is grabbing your guitar and be able to whip into a mode at a moment's notice so for example if someone says Aeolian, you know it's a minor. Someone says Phrygian, you know it's a minor. They mix a Lydian, you know it's a major. Ionian, you'll know it's a major. Lydian is major. Dorian is minor. So each scale has a minor and major, minor, major, minor, major. Where's where's uh, Locrian? Well, that's a diminished chord, so it doesn't get a pentatonic shape, and we're leaving that out for today. So, because um, these are the major modes that you'll find backing tracks to jam with anyways. And they all have a mood. There's a mode is really a mood, as you can see down here at the bottom where I wrote mode is mood. But let's go back to the top here. Sorry for the moving picture. All right, probably messed everything up there, but okay. So each one of them, it's just neat how they, you know, have their own geometry. Now, um, as far as mood, they they line up in mood order too. Here we have the natural scale, and kind of notice that the Ionian is the major. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. It's in the natural. 
It shares its pentatonic with the natural minor scale, Aeolian, neutral natural. And it's as far as the emotions go, this is kind of your neutral, um, you know, standard, standard minor sad, standard happy. This is a little bit brighter happy, a little bit brighter sad. And this is a little bit of a darker sad and a little bit of a darker mixolydian. And you can also uh, have a fun way to memorize that is with these uh, eyebrow shapes here. Kind of like, you know, you kind of got that melancholy uh, sadness here. But here you got that kind of anger, anger sadness here. And then here you've just got a standard sad and a standard happy. So, um, how, does it, how does it actually work? Um, one way to get um, an understanding of this if this is just kind of looking unusual to you right now is to understand that the pentatonic box in my mind well once i learned all this i broke the pentatonic the pentatonic is now forever broken down into two bits there's this shape which you can see right here and your question right there should be well wait what about this shape right here it's only half of one of those well this shape is that shape if there was a low b string on your guitar you would have this shape right there okay so um you have this shape and then you have this shape which is you can see as in the middle right there so in between this area is where we add in two notes and those same two notes will get hung on the outside of this box here on the outside of this side on the outside of this side one of them has it on both sides let's check it out so as you can see here which is talking about the big shape right here here we have the two notes added on the right hand side because basically there's four empty notes in a pentatonic scale you're going to add in those two notes and think about this what two notes are we talking about here well remember a pentatonic is five notes a major scale is seven notes the difference between five and seven is two notes two plus five is seven right so it's these are the two notes that crew that take the pentatonic into a full-on scale um so for example, maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, but if we were to put this, if we were to put this on an E, we would have E Dorian. If we put this shape right here on an E, we'd have E Aeolian. And if we put this shape right here on an E, we'd have E Mixolydian. And yeah, um, they go from the same E can be major, the same E can be minor. Just where are you putting your shape? Okay, so just like the same E could be E minor pentatonic. But if you move this down and put start playing that note on the E and play this shape, you have an E major pentatonic. Let's hear that right now. You can't see my guitar, but here is the sound of... Now, if I was... Uh, if I had my stuff really down well, I'd have my freeze pedal with me, but I left that back at home. So I can't play the chord behind the mode, which would really help it sound great, but... There's an E major chord. I gotta get sitting down better here to get playing better. I'm an old guy. because my root of this shape was on the E. Now I'm going to move this shape up three frets so my root, this part of the scale is on the E. right in between the top of the square here that that note there okay so all that being said let's wrap this up here with the fact that just know 
A pentatonic as Dorian Lydian. It can be Aeolian, Ionian, or Phrygian Mixolydian. Kind of pair these up. Your two lighter, lighter minor, lighter major, uses the same exact scale shape. You add in the gut notes here, and on this one, and now this is what I wanted to say. We were talking, now let's talk about this shape here. You've got, you know, I want to show you the interesting geometry here that just because it's interesting, it helped me um, memorize this right away. This one hangs the two notes off to the left where it uses the right on the inside. It uses the left on the outside. This shape here uses the left on the inside and uses the right on the outside. And, and as my voice cracks, um, this is using the uh, top pair. And this one here is using the bottom pair pair as you can kind of visualize that i'm sure kind of neat there huh and then you just add in you know your top string here you don't really got to think about it because it's just a copy of the other e string down here all right now so we'll go over this one and kind of neat how the neutral scale or natural minor natural major um and you never hear it referred to as natural major but why not call it that who the hell cares right if it helps you remember um has the has like a balance it has one on the left and one on the right in the boxes. And in this shape down here, it has one on the lower left, one on the upper right. Kind of like a piece of this one and a piece of this one to create a balanced scale. Kind of neat. So this one, you know, tip everything to one side. And you make it darker, you know, tip everything. You know, take this one and move it over here, but this one and move it over there. And you've got... Uh, brighter scale so pretty neat um you know you can kind of like think of it as like shifting weight on a boat um sure you've shifted a little bit off to the left but you shift shifted one off to the right so you've got this one just leaning a little bit this way and this one leans a little bit that way i don't know that's just a mechanical explanation in my mind so that's it the chart explains everything pretty much. If you have any questions that something that I glossed over too fast or didn't explain, send me a message. Leave me a message in the comments. And uh, there you have it. There is the entire picture right there. Hope this helped. The... Oh, um... And maybe I'll leave you with the fact that so once you're like, you know, let's say uh, your your choice was, you know, you're jamming in D Dorian or C Dorian or whatever Dorian you chose. And, you know, um, the scale shape was, you know, we're kind of running out of ideas. So you just thought about uh, maybe I'll make a couple pentatonic runs, which I can do a little faster. So you could switch uh, right into this shell pentatonic shape from here and go down and use these shape. But there's ma more magic. In the major scale, all these are actually found together. So that won't make sense at first if, you, if you're thinking, well, how could Aeolian be found with Dorian? That doesn't make any sense. And it, it sort of doesn't, but all these shapes come from the major scale. So they're all in there. So what I'm trying to tell you is that there's three options to make uh there's three different pentatonic choices you could make and if you were just jamming in um let's just say a d minor chord was jamming and you chose to make a d dorian if there's just a chord playing with no other chords playing then you or let's even say just a lower root note then you can choose you could go from dorian and this is called pitch axis theory then switch the shape keep your same pentatonic shape but switch the gut notes that's pitch axis theory. Now you're in E A Aeolian. Switch the gut notes here, and you're in Phrygian if you just kept the same root note. That would be pitch axis theory. So that being said, all three of these are in the major scale. So if you found yourself in the Phrygian shape, which is what I call this, I use these are commonly called the minor uh, name. This isn't usually referred to. This shape here. If you were taught this shape, it's usually called the Phrygian scale because that note is the third note of the scale. Uh, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, one, two, and three. So that's why this is called that. This starts at the Aeolian. That's why this is commonly called the Aeolian shape. And this is commonly called the Dorian shape. So if you learned any of these, 
you can switch right out into the pentatonic, but you could also be up in the Aeolian shape, which is just up the fretboard, and switch into a pentatonic there, and switch into a pentatonic, pentatonic there, and you have all these five shapes up and down the fretboard. So there's there's now a whole lot of soloing choices for you. So just to kind of show you here, I could theoretically pay, play over, uh, let's choose E minor. say we were in the key of C so it was Phrygian I use this shape with a little one extra note at the end there now we could go down to um, basically I'm on the D Dorian shape Then doing pentatonic. So that was a uh, pentatonic using the uh, minor root over the A. But you see it rings out over E because those are all in the C major scale. So that's why pentatonics will sound okay almost anywhere you play them on the fretboard because they're usually uh, working through the note in some key. I know that won't make a whole lot of sense there, but I'm sure the, uh, the beginning part of the lesson will. So uh, there you go. We're going to leave it there, and uh, hopefully this was an awesome 17 minutes of your life. Remember to please subscribe to the channel if you thought this was interesting and you like uh, how easy uh, all this stuff can be, and you like the idea of using graph paper. Uh, as you can see, this is a pretty unique to my channel. And um, yeah, so uh, subscribe and tell your friends. I would really appreciate that. And thank you to my new subscriber. Um, oh, man. It was... Phil or Stan or something like that, and I can't remember your name. I'm sorry, but I just saw you in my email, and I appreciate you. Have a good day.